Hi everyone, Amp here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. Uh, the other day I got, or as you can see 14 hours ago, I got an interesting comment which is asking me to do a tutorial about hovering. Specifically it says I want to know if RenPy can hover with the dissolve effect and change the background of something when you hover over something. So I've dug into this a little bit and I've come up with a solution. Uh, big thanks to RenPy Tom for helping me get the actual transitions to work because I apparently did not pour through the documentation correctly. <laughs> um, so I've got a couple images in here which is an image of a sunset and an image of a mountain these are from unsplash these are their original image names so it says it gives credit to who took the picture um, so the first thing I'm going to do is create my images image bg1 equal oh, I'm going to do that way So I'm just going to grab this Come on There we go Dot .png and I'm going to say size 1280 x720 because that's the size of my RenPy screen at the moment. HPG2. I'm going to grab this. Okay, so that's my images. You don't need to do anything special with them. You just need to make sure they're the right size. If they're already the right size, you can even omit that and just put the name in. So next up, I need to make a variable. Uh, if you want to change something based on the screen, then you're gonna need to do something based on variables. So default bg toggle. And I'm going to start it off as false. Then I need an actual screen to work things on. So screen, what did I call it in the script? VG swap. And this is going to be a super simple screen. So I'm going to say if VG toggle add VG1 else add bg2 so let's see what that looks like tab characters oh i don't know why you switched back on me but let's fix that Okay, so, oh, these are JPGs. My bad. See, you guys, I make mistakes, too. I make mistakes all the time. If you haven't figured that out already, you haven't been paying attention. So there we are. It's just, it happens to be BG image 2 because we set our BG toggle to be false. It's a nice image. Okay, so how do we make it so thing, something changes on hovering? I'm going to add a text button. Swap BGs. I'm 
I'm going to say action, null action. So it's not going to do anything when you click on it. But I'm going to use the hovered keyword to do set variable eg toggle to true. And then, of course, when I unhover, I need to undo it. Unhovered set variab variable eg toggle false. Now I could also just use toggle variable and you know that would maybe would be be easier but I I like to do it this way because it's more explicit. And then let's say x align 0.5 y align 0.5. Okay. Okay, you can barely see the, th the text that says swap BGs here. But when I hover over it, it does indeed swap the background. So you can do this the same when you modify your start, your main menu screen so that start will make, uh, will make the background change. But how about to do it with dissolve? This is what I really struggled with. I tried all sorts of weird ways to do it, and the answer turned out to be so simple. Thank you so much, Python. What you need to do is create a second action to go when it hovers, and it's the with action. So with is down here. Oops, not there. Not there either. Where is it? There it is. With causes a transition to occur. So I'm going to say with dissolve. Just like that. And there we go. So as I hover over it, it dissolve changes. Look at that. I hope that's what you were looking for. Uh, if not, you can hit me up with a comment again and let me know what it is you were actually looking for. But this, I think, is a pretty neat effect. And I, you know, I had no idea that width was also a screen action because, um, it's in the documentation, but I just didn't find it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and I hope to see you next time.